Hi everyone, Bradbone here, back with the last episode of the Weekly Purple Team for 2025. This week, we're taking a look at a NTLM leak in photos. And this one's interesting because it doesn't throw any of the typical telltale signs of a phishing email, right? This one works pretty interestingly to get a hash to you, right? You literally just have them click on a link, you do the redirect and it works. And it's in MS Photos, that's the issue. So let's take a look at this. I've got a little script over here, it's photorelay.py. I saw this one go by on Twitter, I'm like, okay. I saw some sample scripts, I'm like, I'll write one real quick. Um, but basically, we're looking for photo.png, and then when that's hit, we redirect to this MS Photos viewer. And then we give it a UNC path. That UNC path is where we want the NTLM hash sent, right? Then that NTLM hash gets sent to that location. And then just to listen on this address, right now we're just listing on port 80, right? So basically anything that will serve up a link that looks like this with a UNC path that you control, you can then get it to release its net NTLM hash, which is pretty crazy. So let's clear our screen. We'll run this. We're gonna run, I'll clear it again. Hit cat instead of Python 3. There we go, Python 3 photo relay.py. In a second, it's gonna give me my listening port and IP. But then while we're at it, we're gonna run responder. So we'll do sudo responder i, we're just gonna do vv just to make sure it prints the hash to the screen. And responder is taking a minute here. There we go. It's probably because I had port 80 in use. Now you could give it a no HTTP if you want there, but there's responder and it's running. So we jump over now to our Windows 11 host. And on our Windows 11 host, we have Outlook, right? I sent this through Gmail. They said nothing about it. There's did not get classified as spam. And basically I sent an email, dude, you need to check out this photo. It's hilarious. I put it on Instagram and it's going viral and a broken link, right? The image is the broken link, right? It's, it's a legitimate broken link image. But the idea is to get them to click here. So if they click here, what it does is notice it opens their default browser, whether that's Edge or Chrome. In this case, it's Chrome. And it gives them open photos. They choose open photos. And then it gives them a warning. But this looks just like what was in the email, right? It doesn't look that crazy off. And you can change this. I could take the word share out of it. But a lot of users, there's no lock close issue. There's no real security warning. You're just going to. Hey, continue opening. The moment they've done that, we are now at the point we have their net NTLM hash. So that's cool, right? Now, these are not easily reusable. You either have to crack this or pass it. Now, passing it is the easy button. If you're on an internal pen test or you have a box inside the network that you control, you can pass it to Active Directory Certificate Services got a long running pot file, you've had good uh, history of being able to crack that NTLM hashes, you can just throw, feed this into Hashcat and away you go and you can crack it. So in this case, let's do the relay to ADCS. So we'll shut down Responder now. We still have our redirect running over here. And then we will use Certify for our relay. So many people know NTLM Relay X for relaying to ADCS, but what if we do it differently? What if we use a different tool? And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use Certify for this. So if you do Certify AD and you just tell it Relay and give it a target, it figures it out. Now it assumes that you're gonna use this IP and Cert, 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 Finish and use ESC8, but notice, I'm not giving it a template. I'm not giving it a lot of the information that I have to give NTL and RelayX to make this work. It just kind of figures it out. So pretty cool little addition to certify if you haven't tried this. 
So let's try this again. We'll jump back over to our Windows 11 host. We'll click our link again. And just to be clear, Defender is on here. And I'm pretty sure Defender for Endpoint or CrowdStrike or any of these are not going to do anything with an MS Photo Viewer link, at least as it stands right now. So we'll click this again. Open Photos. Continue opening. And then we'll come back over here to Cali. And notice we now have a private key for Bruce Banner. So we now have a certificate as that user, and we can authenticate as we need with that certificate. So that's a pretty awesome escalation. On an internal pen test, this could be awesome. Right? You just send this to a bunch of the user base and see who clicks. I guarantee you a bunch of people would click that link, or you make a more convincing fish, or you send them team blast out teams messages with the URL. You're probably going to get some responses here. So it's not 100% like forced coercion, but it's a pretty good method for phishing to then get net intel and mashes back and relay them. Okay, that's the red. So what about blue here? We already saw that Defender didn't do anything with this. Uh, I'm assuming most EDR solutions won't do anything with this because it's little known. There's no patch. There's no CVE for this yet. This is a typical NTLM leak that we see happen in Windows. So we can detect this at SIM with a fairly simple query. Now I've done a combined query here. You can use event code 1 or event code 4688, but I've done a combined query to show you both. So we're going to do event code 1 or 4688 and process args containing photos.exe and ms-photo and percent percent %5c percent percent %5c or winlog event data command line which is the 4688 event and photos.exe msphoto and percent %5c percent %5c you'll see the significance of the percents percent %5c's here in just a second now notice what we're seeing here. This is the 4688 event, and we can see photos.exe right there. There's our MS Photo Viewer link, and our file name, percent %5c, percent %5c photos. Why do I care about the percent %5c, percent %5c? Well, if we come over here to CyberChef, and we do URL decode, and we do percent %5c, percent %5c, what does that equate to? Slash slash. UNC notation, right? This is not typically in a URL. You're not going to have UNC notation. You're going to have forward slash, not backslash, right? This is backslash, backslash. So that is what we want to look for. Now, if we come back over here to our sim, you can see there is some differences here. The 4688 event does percent %5c. The sysmon event does percent percent %5c and percent percent five c so make sure you know that going in when you're writing a rule which method you're targeting you certainly don't need both of these you can have both if you want to do a catch-all but you could write one with one one with the other or completely ignore i don't recommend that you have process command line execution on the 4688 event and collect sysmon one you're doubling your sim usage it's a bad idea so pick a lane right and go with it but that is the detection for this particular net NTLM hash leak. All right. That's it for this week. Thank you, everyone, for a great 2025. I've seen a lot of growth on the channel. Catch me at a SANS class later this year, or uh, 2026, early 2026. I've got a couple running um, where I can teach you some of this stuff. Um, also, keep you know, posting the videos places if you want the channel to grow. I've seen pretty significant growth here in 2025, but I'm looking for more growth here in 2026. So once again, I'll leave you the end of 2025 with Hack the Planet to Defend Better. From the pill to the hack, man.